Hey guys, it's Truth Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be talking about the coin show that happened this weekend, show off some new purchases, and talk about a tip and something that we've noticed when going to shows a little bit later than expected. As many of you guys know, we harp on getting to shows early and getting involved as soon as possible in the buying process because there are a lot of deals that swing through uh, the show that get picked up really quickly. Um, but we were at the Beaumont show this weekend. Not a lot of people showed up on the first day but we were at a graduation ceremony for my sister's college, and so we had to go the second day, which was on Saturday. And when we went in there, there was a lot of great coins, a lot of you know nicely toned coins, a lot of d tougher coins, and you know sometimes it's not about getting there early, but it's about having enough tools in your tool belt to get the job done. And what do I mean by that? Know what what to sell, how things sell, um, what things you can sell. So. Getting acquainted with gold, or getting acquainted with type pieces, or getting acquainted with CAC. Finding resources to where you could sell those coins, because there's a lot of guys that are older, they only want to focus on one thing, and that's where you can cherry pick the whole show, buy the greatest coins, and then take them to the dealers online, or take them to the dealers on Instagram, or bring them to a bigger show, and have someone buy them there. Uh, one coin we want to talk about real quick, it's about to rain outside, but we picked up this 1877 Carson City, $20 gold piece at the show. Something we want to submit to CAC. I'm going to show it to you guys again later in this video, but sometimes just knowing that there's people out there that want to buy this and who you can talk to in order to pick it up and then make some money is really important. And so we hope you guys enjoy these new purchases. All right, guys. So here's a slew of everything that we got over the weekend. A few just really nice choice pieces. Sometimes I just don't want to buy so many coins that are you know unattractive or overpriced but rather buy the nice coins for the right price so that you guys want to pick them up got a few type coins got a few commemoratives got a few half dollars as well can't wait to show you them the first coin i want to show you is this 1853 three cent piece it's great au50 i picked this up because a lot of three cent silvers are raw and they're not in holders this one i felt was affordable and it had a pretty nice true view to it second coin i want to show you is this really interesting 1947s Booker T. Washington. It's got red and it's got goldish color on the obverse. And then when you flip it over the reverse, it's got some greens and it also still has some red and golds to it. Definitely a coin you don't see with color. So I don't know what we're going to do with this coin yet. It's not going to be for sale, but definitely wanted to show you guys and take you along with what we've been purchasing. This is a 1937 Roanoke. It's graded in Mint State 67, CAC approved. Um, it's just a really high grade, nice coin. <clears throat> all the bells and whistles to it. I apologize for the rain in the background again. It's been raining all week, but still been trying to film some videos for you guys. Here's a nice Walker, 1947, 65 CAC. Has a little color to the coin, but nothing too crazy about it. I think it was probably held in some type of cardboard or envelope. It kind of has some almost lines going down all on the verse there. Some older type coins here, starting out with the 1848 Half Dime. It's a medium date. It's got some color on both sides. It has a little old cleaning to it, but that's okay. Well, it is a date that doesn't pop up very often with auctions. So when I saw it, I was like, let's give it a shot. Even if we only make a few bucks on it, it's definitely a unique offering. Uh, the 61 dates are pretty tough to find. So I have a 61 Half here and then a 61 Half Dime. The 61 half is, is a nice looking original. It's a little bit too dark, it may not cack, but does really look nice for a Civil War date. And once again, not a lot of premium to make on these coins, but sharing them, being able to hold the, a piece of history like this for us is worth it alone. Here are a few CAC, uh, CAC coins. So this is a 1957 Franklin half, proof 68 cameo, gorgeous coin overall, nice CAC approved coin. Uh, been selling a lot of these just because they have that look that really sells them gorgeous contrast and uh, they're actually starting to get up there in terms of premium and price and people are setting them back especially with CAC stickers here's an 1861 seated half dime little color to it nice true views pretty weak on the high points it's kind of why I thought it was a 62 and there's not a lot of luster the coin most of the time you need some more luster and this one didn't really hold it for me but once again, another coin from this year that just doesn't come up in auctions very often. So thought it was a nice coin for an affordable price. Got some big boys real quick. This 1836 Block 8 2.5 Coronet Head. 
Actually, it's a classic ed. I completely forgot. I apologize. It is a block eight, mid state 61, CAC approved. Been trying to step up our game with some nice gold, nice CAC approved stuff, stuff that you guys would love forever. And uh, this coin definitely is great. It's going to a new home already, sold on the website over the weekend. So make sure to keep checking out our website, AcousiaCollectibles.com. We're coming out with coins every single week. This is an 1852 gold dollar, AU58 CAC. Another gorgeous coin. Love the gold color to it. It wasn't dipped out, anything crazy like that. It just has a literal, a little general wear to it. A few other coins here. This is a 1913S, a little bit of a better date Buffalo nickel. Affordable, better date, so this one's under 100 bucks. It's not something you have to break the bank for. And uh, it overall, it's pretty original. It just has some decent circulation on most of the coin. Has a little luster left in it as well. Here are two more big coins before we wrap up this video. This is 1878 Proof 15. This is a low ball proof, something you don't see every day. The guy said he just got it back from NGC at the show and that he didn't think it would come back proof, which I think this is a proof only issue for the Philadelphia Mint. So there's no way this couldn't come back proof. Definitely super cool because none are circulated like this. And so very fortunate to be able to pick this up and offer it to you guys. Last coin I want to show you is a coin we're saying to CAC. This is an 1877 CC $20 gold piece. Nice original looking coin. I'm a bit afraid of the hits that are on the coin. Maybe that might hold it back, but this coin does see a C sticker. I could see the price of the coin going up a couple hundred bucks, maybe even a thousand bucks. So wish us luck on this one. We'll try to keep you guys updated, but thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button, comment your thoughts on these coins. And subscribe for more. And uh, make sure to check out our website. Got all these coins listed. And uh, yeah, pick something up.